Hi everyone! In this video, we will discuss what leads are in Triple C as well as best practices for managing these leads. Leads are known as my inquiries within Triple C that funnel into my database from my website or various social media platforms in order to convert them to events. Leads are also reportable within Triple C to track conversion. Lead forms can be added to platforms such as Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, or within email blasts to name a few examples. Leads can also be entered manually by selecting the new lead button found on the top right hand side of any page in Triple C. This button is used when someone calls into my venue, comes in face to face, or emails me directly. Anyone with the appropriate access in Triple C can enter leads into the system. When leads come in, the user set to receive lead notifications will be sent an email as soon as the guest clicks submit on the form. This brand new lead will then populate on my dashboard as well as the leads tab on the left hand navigation panel. Once a lead is viewed, it will no longer show on the dashboard and will still be available on my leads tab until it is no longer marked as a lead. Leads can also be found by using the search panel at the top of the screen. The leads page is a list of all inquiries and I can narrow down my results from the drop downs here, indicating what types of leads I would like to see. I also can filter leads by clicking filters on the right, which allows me to narrow down my leads by the date submitted, location, lead sources, and event styles. I'm going to go ahead and click right into a new lead. I or any triple seat user can respond to my guest by starting a conversation directly from this lead details page using the guest discussion. There is also an opportunity for internal discussion on this lead by using the staff discussion, which my guests will not be able to see. Keep in mind that any guest or staff discussion history will carry over when this lead is converted into an event. I can see here this guest is looking to book an event for October 16th. Over on the right, I can see any events that have been added to the calendar for the same date, what time they are at, and I can tell by their color what status they are in. So for example, on this date, I have another event in the lounge area at 7.30 p.m. and I know it's a definite event by its green color. When I've qualified this lead, I will click Convert Lead where I will see a few different conversion options. The first option is to convert to an event which would both add this event to my calendar as well as add this lead's contact and account information right into my database. I also have the option to convert the lead to just an account and contact, which would not add this event to my calendar. I would convert to an account or contact if I know the event is not taking place, but still wanna store the customer's contact information within Triple C in case they book with me in the future. Two other ways I can save and access their account information is by converting the lead to a lost event and running a lost business report, or I can also turn down the lead and run a lead conversion report to find the information. For this lead, I'm going to continue to convert it into an event. Clicking this button will first prompt me to confirm the account details where I will see the text is editable. I will make any changes that I need to, and once the account information is confirmed, I will click create and the system will ask the same of my contact details. I can make any changes to the contact information on this page. I will go ahead and click create again and the system will convert this lead to an event and all information has been populated onto the event details page. For next steps, please check out our video on creating events. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to our support team, support at triple or by clicking on the help question button on the top right corner of any screen in Triple C.